Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I've decided that I'm going to start being one of those trendy vloggers, you know, the really cool, um, attractive, young <laughs> women doing it for themselves, um, who just are absolutely killing it. And uh, I want in, guys. I want in. No, I'm not really quite that style, so um, this is me, this is my life, and this is my vlog, so welcome. Okay, so now we're going to run the clips of the video. Let's go. help for sponsoring this video do you think that there is something interfering with your happiness or the way that you're feeling day to day um, sometimes we think it's normal to just carry on and be that way but actually it's not normal and sometimes there is something that we need some help with and it's always good to talk to someone I've struggled in the past with depression and I would say that a few people that I know have as well. It's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about, you just need to talk to somebody sometimes. So this is where BetterHelp comes in. They are an online app that can connect you with a therapist within 48 hours and so you don't need to wait for an appointment, you can just go and talk to somebody if you need to. It's not a crisis line or a self-help thing, it is a professional therapist speaking to you securely online. There is a broad range of expertise of over 20,000 therapists available to you online that may not be available to you within your area, so it'd be really good to maybe reach out to them. This is available to clients worldwide and you can log into your account anytime and connect with a therapist. You can also send the messages, set up a weekly video call or phone call so you don't have to sit in waiting rooms, you can just have it right there on your phone. So thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and uh, I hope that you guys are doing well. So all our boxes arrived, generic household um, of stuff and uh, we haven't got a place to live yet so anyway uh, yeah so here are our boxes. My stuff for patron from has arrived. I've you I'm using awesome merch again even though I used them last time and when I lived in Gibraltar it took literally like a month and a half to get to me. But now that I'm in Brighton it takes about a week. So I'm using them again. <laughs> and I said I was gonna find a printer in Brighton which I think will be a bit easier as well. But for now um I printed some stickers and some thank you notes and I'm just gonna see what they look like now. <laughs> they look 
cool. So I ordered some holographic stickers of my Ever After drawing that I really liked, um, that I did a while ago. So I wanted to see what they would look like as holographic stickers. If you guys have ever seen Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Um, I'm a big fan of that movie, I like it a lot. So here's what the sticker looks like, super shiny. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. I like the way that it turned out. Super cute. So, it's patrons are getting this big sticker this month. I really like these. They're massive though. I think, I, I don't know why, I think I thought they would be a little bit smaller than that, but could be quite fun to put on a notebook and stuff. Um, yeah, so let's see. I also printed out some thank you notes. <laughs> There's absolutely masses of them because I want to send these out with everything that I send, um, including Patreon. I think I probably won't put these in every single month on the Patreon because who wants a few of these? <laughs> but yeah, they're just pesto, a bit image of pesto. It's kind of like my Patreon banner, an image of pesto and my old desk and just like doodling and some references to stuff I use, books I read, and my artwork. So I really like it. And then I just popped like a thank you here. And I can sign the back if, I, if need be. But yeah, so I'm really happy with this. I ordered a thousand of these because there was like a deal on. So I was like, okay, I'll print a thousand, which is excessive, because then I'll always have them and always be able to like send them out with stuff. So yeah, really happy with this. There's loads of stuff now. I've got to get packing for Patreon rewards today. I've also started, GG, calm down. Yeah, I've got to get packing Patreon rewards today. So I'm going to set up here and start just putting things in envelopes and then I can write out everything that I need to write out. So let's begin. GG, calm down. <laughs> also thinking about stickers for next month and this was kind of what I was thinking about I like this style that people do like the border around a landscape and I'm thinking what I want to do is like a few little mini landscapes lands a few mini landscapes like this in this style and then yeah I really like this mochi drawing I don't know if I showed you guys already I don't know, don't know if you've seen that TikTok where they go, I'm just a baby. So I thought it was cute. And then I was thinking about doing like a sticker for book club when you know that, um, I don't know if you guys had this, but early in school, we had this thing where if you read a certain amount of books, you would get like a little shield for how many pages you read. And then the more pages you read, like the better the shield got, like the final one was like master shield. And then you've got like a little plaque and I was always so envious of those people because I couldn't really read very well when I was little. Um, I'm dyslexic, so it was difficult for me. And uh, so I thought, you know what, why don't I make my own little shield thing now because I do read a lot now. So it would make sense for me to have it. And um, I don't know, just thought it was like maybe a cute thing. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. Um, I think it would be kind of neat um because it's something that childhood trauma you know when people are getting rewarded these things that you would die to have but it's impossible for you um yeah and then i did like a tiny elephant don't know why um but then i sort of settled on this as a sticker settled um, that sounds bad i came to this and it's just this cute cat that looks a little bit like a fat pesto 
resting in the flowers and stuff and I put you deserve to rest and I don't know if I want to make it holographic or something or some kind of shiny effect on it but I want it to be like a big vinyl sticker and then I think I'm going to change the the you deserve to rest to be in like a light blue or something I'm not sure but I quite like this I like the way they turned out so I want to print this out for next month patron um, and also I want to do like another print I want to do like a landscape maybe like this with this border but as a postcard of Brighton because um, I thought that would be cool I don't know if people would like that but yeah that's where I'm at at the moment and uh, I'm going to stick this somewhere because I want to see what it looks like stuck down to something I think it looks really cute I don't know where to put it I don't want to put it on my sketchbook I'm thinking my computer here because when I look down I can see it be quite cool I'm really happy um I don't know if anybody knows the context behind this but it's from ever after that film with Drew Barrymore in it and it's basically a retelling of Cinderella and I really like it because it has a lot more like feminist undertones to it if I can say that yeah and then um basically Leonardo da Vinci makes her dress for her which is so funny a bit random but I really like it and I thought I wanted to make it so her wings, because she wears wings when she arrives, to shine. And then there is, I don't know if you can tell quite so much, but there's sparkles here that I've put on and then I added it to have the shine on it. But you can barely, barely see it. Yeah. And also the edges look a bit jagged, but that's not on the actual sticker. That's just on the paper that the sticker is being held on. I'm super proud of this one. I want to make more stuff like this for sure. I have also been writing a new book and I'm thinking I'm going to release it on Amazon and Chris is going to do the cover for me so I've been researching kind of this fantasy romance covers that do well on Amazon and we're trying to sort of emulate not copy um, that style and take um, yeah just take inspiration from them but I've written about 9,000 words, which doesn't seem like much, but it's been a while since I've written anything. So I'm pretty proud with how the process or the, yeah, the progress is going. Um, this book is going to be called How to Kill a King. And I'm thinking it's going to be a series, but I'm not sure. It might just be a short one-off novel. And I'm really enjoying just exploring this world and writing out what I want to happen in it and the characters and stuff and it's nice to kind of take a step back and do something different that isn't comics um even though i love doing comics but it's like a completely different world basically um a different world it's like a different vibe your head gets in a different vibe and it's like i don't know so anyway i was writing a lot last night and then today i have to do patron stuff and i want to draw this picture of the landscape that i want to make hopefully next month's reward um i did this whilst i was in gibraltar still with the artex paints and i said that i wanted to make this a print but i'm not sure about it now so i do like it um I'm just not sure if it's like it speaks to where I want my style to go right now. I don't know. I I don't feel like I have a style. I always say this. I feel like my well, what I do is always changing. Like you can see here, it's completely different to kind of this style, which I'm thinking I prefer. I don't know. I like both. Um, so you can see, like for instance, this is completely rough uh, textures, paint textures, which I really like to do. And then there's this stuff where it's kind of more focused, more detailed line art, which I really like to look at. So <laughs> it's, it's a difficult one. Um, 
I like both basically so I don't know I'm gonna draw this new piece because I need to just sit down and draw something because it's been a few days so I, I want to dust off the cobwebs also I went to this is before our boxes arrived and I found my alcohol markers but I went to Hobbycraft no was it Hobbycraft I went into town and there was this art shop and I saw these pro markers and I completely forgot that pro markers are the ones with the without the brush tip that I don't like um I probably should have checked but I, I just forgot that they're called brush markers the ones I like they like they look exactly the same so the it's an easy mistake to make I still pesto camera died but yeah um I definitely like these colors still so I'm going to use them for my drawing is basically what I was finishing saying before my camera was like you've run out of space again um yeah so we're gonna go for it I'm also going to use my pencils that I got from Arteza, which are super nice. And um, some pencils that I bought in town um, a while ago, because I really do like polychromos, so I think they're really soft and nice, but I do like the Arteza ones as well. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see what I come up with. Instantly, I was like, yeah, no. So I was just packing up orders for this month's Patreon. When my other stickers arrived, I ordered these on Thursday and they've already arrived, which is pretty crazy. It's Saturday now. So yeah, I had a look at them, but really love them. Super cute. Shush, shush, stop meowing. Basically, so I'm out of breath because just ran up the stairs. <laughs> um, oh, I, can't wait. I did that picture I showed you and I made it like glittery. And it says, you deserve to rest because I think that we all kind of overwork ourselves, especially people who work from home or... Um, End it. End it. Stop. It says, 
says you deserve to rest so i think they're really cute and uh yeah so i'm gonna send these out in for april i think with the print that i'm gonna print out but i'm really happy with the way they turned out it's the first time using this company instead of awesome merch and actually they were significantly cheaper so <laughs> um might be using them a lot more in the future because i think awesome merch kind of, they are a cool company but if this took way less time and the stickers are, are like similar quality although to be fair this sticker is bigger from awesome merch so that could be why it was cheaper yeah i'm a bit obsessed with the shinies now i wanted like a glitter the reason i didn't go with awesome merch in the beginning is because i wanted like a glittery kind of finish to it rather than just a hollow like silver Ooh. so yeah this was a good pair so please stop this was a good company to go with i just thought i'd test them out because they had the actual consistency or the texture I don't know what I'm saying, or the glittery texture that I wanted. So. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And also thanks to you guys for watching it. And I hope that you are having a good day. And uh, if you feel like checking out my Patreon or Etsy or whatever, it's down below. Um, I'm thinking I'll put the stickers up as well on Etsy in at some point. But yeah, um, have a great day guys and see you soon. Bye!